What's up everybody? Welcome to Ultimate Outdoors and uh, to the compound. I'm just down here hanging out today and I thought I'd do a quick review of the scope that I bought a year ago. I heard a lot of horror stories about the ATN scopes. This is the Excite 4K Pro, the 3 to 14 power. I've actually had a lot of good luck with this, uh, with this scope. I haven't used it a tremendous amount, but I went quite a few times coyote hunting last year. Mostly at night I used it. It works really good. I've, I've had good luck. It was really easy to sight the gun in. There's lots of different features in it. You can record with it. There's actually also uh, uh, different reticles adjusted to. Um, it, I mean, there's just a lot of, most features I don't even use. It's like any electronic stuff you buy. Uh, it's got a ton of features and you only use a few that you like and, and that's about it. But. Uh, the scope has been really good to me. There's a few ups and downs to the uh, the night vision, um, this type of the infrared. You can't only see so far versus a thermal, but this particular scope here, I'm, I'm reaching out 100, probably 150 yards or so, but that's as far as the, the, you know, the light will allow it to, the uh, IRs. This is the one to come with it right here. I don't use it much because of the batteries. I didn't like the type of batteries that are in it. Instead, I bought one of the uh, Evolva T20s. Um, this is the IR that uh, infrared light that I use on it. I like these type of batteries better, but uh, this one, this one's worked really good. I forget what the, they say the size of the battery is, but uh, they're rechargeable. So I, I have several extras. So if you're out for a long night of coyote hunting or something, you can. Uh, you could change the batteries out and uh, put in a fresh battery. Yeah, this one's worked pretty good. That's the uh, T20. Just mounts right on the side of the scope, as you all know, uh, right here. As far as uh, how the quality is on the videos, I got several videos here I'll share with you. So first I'll show you some of these night, night shots that I got when we're out hunting and uh, out my back window of the house just uh, just getting familiar with the scope and stuff. So here's a few nighttime videos. All right, the only, uh, one of the downfalls with the IR scopes at night is if uh, you got foul weather, snowing out, the, the scope and the infrared, the, the light really picks up the snow and it is hard to see. Um, I actually uh, was looking at a fox here the other night and got up to look out the window and uh, he was out there and actually it was really hard to see because it was snowing, it was snowing out pretty good. So. Um, that's one of the downfalls if you're out in foul weather. Um, it's really hard to see what you're uh, trying to find in the scope, you know, coyote, fox, or whatever it might be. All right, and here's some uh, daytime videos. This scope has been pretty good to me. 
Uh, the battery lasts quite a long time, even in cold weather. It's uh, lasted pretty good. Just got uh, on the side right here, there is a uh, charging port right there. And then actually right here, your memory card uh, goes in that side right there. It's actually worked pretty good. So I have to say, I like the ATN scope. I think my next next one will probably be a thermal uh, one of these days, but I got a lot more uh, hunt to do with this one first before I move up to a thermal. I think the biggest thing to uh, getting used to this scope is just playing around with it. Uh, I used it a lot just right in the house, uh, out the back window, uh, looking at varmints, adjusting things, trying different things. You know, take it to the gun range, wherever, just, just practice with it quite a bit on how to use the features and all that. I, th I think you'll like the scope. It's been a, been a pretty good scope for me. Uh, the Zero Radical for uh, sighting it in, actually for me, was it worked really well. It was simple. So yeah, it's, it's uh, been a good scope for me. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification so you'll be notified when uh, new videos are uploaded. Stay tuned. I got some hunting stuff coming. We're going to do a lot more uh, coyote hunting right now because uh, deer season just finally got over. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Ultimate Outdoors. Later.